Don't scroll. You're gonna wanna hear this. <laughs> Before we start, I'd like to leave a disclaimer that I'm neurodivergent and my brain picks up on patterns very fluidly, very easily. That's like my special interest. So this New Year's, the date, 12, 31, 23. One, two, three, one, two, three. Almost like a soldier marching into battle. One, two, three, one, two, three. I was like, hmm, I wonder when the last time this happened was. Well, it would be 1923. I wonder what is significant about the year 1923. Well, for one, Time Magazine was formed. Time Magazine has been one of the most authoritative and informative guides to what is happening in current affairs, politics, business, health, science, and entertainment. Almost like that's when they were telling us what we were meant to believe. So 1923, time starts. So if we are going in a pattern where there are blocks of time, we are looking at 1923 being the start of this block of time. So step one in this block of time would be 1924. What happened in 1924? Adolf Hitler was sentenced to prison for his role in the failed coup with the Nazi party, AKA the dragon is put away. 1924 was a leap year, so leaping away from the dragon being put away. Dragons put away, leaps forward are made. Looking into Chinese symbolism, 2024 is the year of the dragon, which just happens to be China's main representative animal, the dragon. The wood dragon comes once in a 60 year cycle. 1964 was the Civil Rights Act, the year when poverty, inequality, and war became part of our daily dialogue, almost like they are now. Also in 1964, humans were making strides towards space travel beyond the Earth's orbit. Guess who just came up with a new logo? The Civil Rights Act was meant to abolish racial segregation. It seems like since we're ending this cycle, now they're just trying to increase that segregation. Hitler, dragon leaves, 2024, does the dragon return? It would be a hundred year cycle. One, two, three, one, two, three, dragon flapping its wings to fly away. One, two, three, one, two, three, dragon coming back. Look at the news with China. SpaceX logo, Baphomet with an upside down cross. Revelation 13 chapter describes two figures. One is a beast arising out of the seas and the other is a beast that arises out of the earth. These beasts are intertwined with the second beast making the world worship the first beast. Later on in the book of Revelation, the second beast is called the false prophet, while the first beast is simply labeled as the beast. The beast is what most label the Antichrist. Both the false prophet and the beast are connected to the dragon, which is a symbol for Satan. Chapter 13 appears to further unpack what is discussed in Revelations 12 in terms of the work of the dragon, aka Satan, in opposing God, as it seems the dragon is calling up these two helpers to do his work. Many have pointed out how these two figures are part of an unholy trinity of dragon, beast, and false prophet, which have similarities to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now, there's this thing going around about how SpaceX has stolen this new logo from a football club called Haddington Town. The name Haddington means Hadda's People's Farm. I looked up where Hadda is located and it's Maka Providence in Western Saudi Arabia. Guess what Maka means? Who is like the Lord?
It's the center of bringing everyone together. And Hada is farming the people in. Farming the people all into a group away from the truth of God.